Can product improvements actually make your software worse? It's more possible than you'd think if they are not planned, designed and implemented wisely. I'm Maria, Senior UX Designer at Merix Studio. In this episode of Legacy Garage, I'm going to show you how software modernization can improve usability and fix mistakes assembled over the years. In this series, we present different ways of dealing with the most common challenges of software modernization. We draw on our past experience and present solutions based on the example of one product. Today, we are going to talk about the case of a US-based insurance agency. You won't be surprised if I tell you that the US insurance industry is the biggest one in the world. It owns almost 40% of global insurance premiums, there are over 6,000 companies operating across the country and 3 million people work in the industry. Unfortunately, the US insurance market has been highly regulated since its beginnings. Moreover, regulations vary in different states and across types whether they apply to health, life or property. The US insurance industry is also considered to be outdated. Companies decide to implement innovations at a very slow pace. Agencies need to deal with a high sensitive data. It probably contributes to the slow innovation pace, as it's almost impossible for third-party developers to retrieve this data and create a modern insure tech solution. This relates to another insurance market challenge, the growing average age of agents working in the business. Different sources mention numbers as high as 60 years old. Complicated and highly regulated work in the insurance industry is not appealing to young employees. Working with software that makes daily tasks even more difficult and looks like it's older than them doesn't help at all. The agency is facing all these problems. The company focuses on cooperation with a few specific industries, for example, tracking. It provides high-quality business products to a narrow and sometimes niche group of enterprises. It prompted them to adjust their internal processes and look for a tool that could help manage daily tasks. Solutions available on the market proved to be too general and rigid to use. So several years ago, the agency decided to create their own tool and hired a freelancer for that. Although the product was meant to improve their daily work, it quickly became a blocker for the company's growth. But what causes all these problems? Let's look under the hood and find out. First of all, the current app is overloaded with information and functionalities. The product is slow and too complicated. Many operations have to be done manually and the technologies used are outdated. On top of it, the overall user experience is extremely poor. Over the last few years, maintaining the application was only about adding new features. It has a very negative impact on its performance. What's more, all new functionalities are hidden under one tab. Trust me, expanding this tab is like opening a Pandora's box. And it's not the only place that causes problems. This data overload causes the problem of managing insurance information. Freelancers and past development agencies were not able to develop one consistent way of managing the client's policies. When dealing with legacy systems, one problem often causes another. In this case, we also have to face this snowball effect. Poor usability translates into a steep learning curve for both new employees and users. The onboarding takes ages, which was also one of the main reasons for the agency's problems with hiring new people. To find solutions for these problems, we need to take a few steps. We start with a scoping session. It's always a good way of starting a project because it gives a chance to gain a better understanding of the product and sees the big picture. And of course, if you cooperate with an external IT partner, it can be an opportunity to acquaint yourself with the company's processes. On the other hand, your tech partner will be able to dive deeper into your business needs 
and get to know your company better. The original application doesn't represent the desired workflow. One of our main goals is to give users better control over processes, shorten the onboarding time and improve daily work. That's why at this step we conduct an in-depth analysis. In this case, the agency employees are app users, so the close cooperation between the agency and a tech partner is crucial. The analysis shows that our work on modernizing the legacy system should start with a total redesign of information architecture. At this step, our product team creates wireframes. We propose a new approach to displaying and managing the client's policies. We clean all the mess in the information display. The important data is now logically linked and displayed in one place. We remove unnecessary information and introduce consistency in labeling. All these improvements provide the company with easier access to the most frequently used tools. They also ensure better visibility of the current status in policy-related processes. We also simplify the process of policy management. Now it's easier for users to add new clients without the necessity of introducing the same data in different places. We also enable users with full control over processes like policy renewals and provide them with easy access to the history of changes. These improvements allow app users to shorten the time of adding a new business partner by up to 30%. Speaking of renewals, another important change we implement are notifications. As I've mentioned before, the insurance regulations in the United States are very strict. It is very important that the relevant insurance certificates are issued on time. From now on, notifications will remind users to do this. To simplify daily operations and improve communication, we provide integration with the Gmail API. Now users can easily communicate with clients directly from the system and import their messages from the email box. When dealing with such sensitive data, we need to make sure it's well protected. That's why we implement a system of roles and permissions here, so that only authorized people have access to the data. To provide successful usability improvement, we also need to implement important technical solutions. So without further ado, I turn you over to Tomek, Backend Engineering Manager at Merrick Studio. We verify whether users should be able to view or modify some data. We also develop a mechanism for generating validation errors. It will allow end users to diagnose the cause of a given error immediately. We use universally unique identifiers instead of sequential ones for a couple of reasons, and one of the aspects is security. It is also impossible to guess the previous and next UUID knowing the current one. Unlike the sequential IDs where you can easily do that and try to access a resource that does not belong to you. Also, we enforce a secured encrypted connection to the application to protect users against man-in-the-middle attacks. We use Google as a third-party identity provider for authenticating users. Then we use JSON web tokens with a short lifetime of an access token for further communication between front-end and back-end. We also introduce some changes in the data architecture to boost the application's performance. There is a huge amount of data to be migrated to the new solution. As we add new functionalities to the system, we also need to write migration script to adjust the existing data structure to the new format. Then we will use the script to automatically move the data from the original solution to the new one, chunk by chunk. An interesting solution is also securing the file upload by customers. Client wanted to ensure that the uploaded files are safe, so we introduced a virus scanner that lives inside infrastructure and checks for potentially dangerous files. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to know more about software modernization, visit our insights. You will find the link in the description below.